Hi James, my name is Ron Jocelyn. I'm the president of California Wheel Burners. We'd like to welcome you and ATSN to our fourth Saturday special match. We're going to be shooting some three gun today. We'll be using a shotgun, a 22 rifle, and a center fire handgun. Uh, it's, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. What you'll see today is uh, us picking up a shotgun and firing at seven pepper poppers. They'll fall down if we hit them. We'll put the shotgun on safe. We'll move to the second station, pick up our rifle. We'll be shooting at seven to eight pieces of steel from 35 to 50 yards downrange. When we've hit all of them, we'll be putting the rifle down on safe and we'll be moving over to our third box and shooting a handgun, anywhere from eight to 10 uh, pieces of steel with a center fire handgun. And then we're gonna do that for three different stages. And as an addition and a way to get ourselves to be able to shoot some additional shotgun today, we'll be running three additional stages where we shoot seven uh, pepper poppers with our shotgun and then repeat that four times throughout your worst time and you keep your best three. And as a result, we're gonna shoot in the neighborhood of about 80 rounds of shotgun, 60 rounds of handgun, and 60 rounds of 22 rifle. Uh, California Wheel Burners is a, uh, a friendly little club. Uh, we do three matches a month. Uh, this is our fourth Saturday special match. We also shoot a rimfire match the first Saturday and we shoot a revolver match the second Saturday. Other than that, I think you've got it and let's go do some shooting. Well, not really. A little nervous, but it was cool. Yeah, you know. I had fun. It looked good for here. All right, so you, you understand what we're going to do, right? We're going to shoot this three times with a shotgun. Right. And the fourth time, you're going to load up and you're going to shoot through as a, as a stage. Okay. Can I take a knee and everything? You do whatever you want. You can go prone if you like. Just make sure that you're not in front of that. I wouldn't I would think you can't John it. John, who's up? Uh, good morning, my name is Ron Williamson. I'm uh, the, uh, with the California Wheel Burners today. Uh, in this club, I'm the uh, treasurer and I'm also the statistician for the International Confederation of Revolver Enthusiasts. In that uh, category, I keep all the records and manage all of the scores of all the classification matches for literally around the world. Uh, today we're shooting a three-gun match and it involves shotgun, uh, uh, rimfire rifle, and a handgun. Uh, you may have seen on the other part of the film people uh, having a, a blue box in their hand. What this is, this is a shot timer. It operates with a little microphone in the face of it and when the signal is given to start there's a buzzer and then from that point the timer records the shot fired on the microphone and so it keeps a little uh, electronic record of that. So at the end of the course the last shot is uh, captured on here and we know the shooter's uh, elapsed time for the course. So the scoring is based on where the shots hit on the paper or the steel, plus the time is taken into account, and that gives the resulted score for the shooter on that stage. Okay, Gavin, get him, get him, get him loaded up, and let's go. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Yeah, no pressure, pressure man. Yeah, you'll win that Cadillac. Hot Wheels Cadillac. Hot Wheels Cadillac, but it's a Cadillac nonetheless. <laughs> Hi James, my name is Derek Savada. I'm here in Piru, California at the Wheel Burners Range. Today we're shooting our three gun match. Um, a little different about our three gun is instead of a center fire rifle, we use a 
rimfire 1022 rifle. Um, I have a Ruger 1022 that I'll be shooting as my rifle. I have a Benello Super 90 shotgun that I use, and I also have a Springfield single stack 1911 that I use for the uh, match as well. Um, I'm also on running the uh, Ruger Rimfire Series match this year, which will also be held up on this range on May 8th, um, which uh, should be a, a new exciting thing that's going on. I believe you guys have covered it one time before um, up at the Hogue Action Range. Um, I'm also on the board of directors for i which holds the International Revolver Championships up in Morro Bay, California, um, which is going to be held the first weekend of June, which is, I believe, uh, the 4th, 5th, and 6th of June 2010 this year. Hi, my name is Ron Jocelyn, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the guns that we use for the, uh, the three-gun match that California Wheel Runners puts on. This is my, uh, my 22 rifle. Basically, this is a, a Ruger receiver, and it's the only piece of the Ruger rifle that I bought a long time ago for $229 that remains the same. We have a, a Boyd stock. We have a tactical solution barrel, tactical solution compensator, tactical solution extended mag release. The, uh, the Boyd stock is kind of neat. Uh, what they do is they, they laminate this wood and this color into one great big huge block and then they use a machine to cut it down to the shape that you see here and it's it's sanded very very smoothly it's just a, uh, a wonderful way to shoot the neat thing about this stock is that you can shoot it right or left-handed so basically this this little rifle started life as a 229 rifle and right now there's probably I think about all the gunsmithing and all the parts, about $1,300 in the gun. So that's our, our 22. We use this a lot. It's my, it's my favorite gun. For our, uh, our pistol part of our, of our match, uh, this is a, a 1911. It's a Caspian frame, Caspian slide, and it was built and put together for me by, uh, by Briley Industries. They're well, really well known for their shotgun products, but they also have a, uh, uh, a pistol division and they put the gun together uh, and gave me a really good deal on it. We're, we're talking about Bomar sights, we've got some custom steel challenge uh, grips on the gun, uh, 20 lines per inch checkering on both the front and the back, a little bit of checkering on the back to get rid of the glare when you're, when you're, uh, you're shooting the targets. Uh, aftermarket trigger which uh, a 1911 standard trigger runs about seven pound break. Uh, this one breaks at uh, right at a pound. So this is not a, a handgun that you'd hand to a beginner. Um, there's a extended safety, uh, extended uh, slide release, and uh, she'll hold an inch at 25 yards, which is, uh, which is pretty darn good for a, uh, for a 1911. This is my, uh, my three-gun shotgun. Uh, this is a Winchester Super X2. Uh, they've just released a Winchester Super X3, which is even faster than this, this particular shotgun. I, I didn't touch this gun. It's, it's dead stock. Uh, it was uh, as good as I could shoot at dead stock. I didn't need to put any more money into it. Uh, this was probably state-of-the-art for three-gun shooting uh, probably two or three years ago. Uh, the new guys that are shooting three gun professionally are using Sega shotguns from Russia, which have uh, 20 round magazines that load out of the bottom. But uh, this is a lot of fun. It's uh, uh, the neat thing about all of this is all of my guns are a lot better than I am. <laughs> they actually belong with a better shooter, but I have a lot of fun with them.